How's it going guys? This is Dustin Piper with uh, Piper Outdoors and I just wanted to go over a few things that I've done to my Clam Nanook Thermal XL. Um, just a few of the mods that I've done on this shelter. I've made my own seats. I got rid of all the bars. Made my own power box. Um, I've got a couple rod holders and uh, I'm just going to kind of walk you through and show you guys exactly what I've done. All right, so here's a rod holder I've made just to hold rods behind me in the shack. It's made out of some PEX hose and it just wraps around the bars in the shelter. Um, and I've done the same thing. So I've got a rod holder. And I've done the same thing with a rod holder here to fish off of. And it'll just click on to any of the bars and they just pop off. Just like that. And you can put them on any bar you want. And they'll just clip and they hold tight enough with the red pex hose. And then I've also made my own seats and storage out of some milk crates that I've seen some of you guys, other guys do on here. So I've got a top level and a bottom level on here. I got my pegs and my drill in the bottom, my underwater camera there. Same thing with this one, except for I used to use it as storage for my flasher. Now just rod holders, whatever storage you want, um, plenty. And then I've mounted these so I can take them out if I wanna go fishing by myself. Um, just a plate and some stuff that I mounted to the bottom of the sled. Um, so these will come out. I'll take one out if I'm going by myself. And then my power box with my switches to keep them waterproof. Battery's running low. It's been on for like two days. But just different power switches. So the lights in the roof, um, they're on now. I've added lights to the front. as well as a glow cup to glow jigs. And then I just keep that on there to keep slush and water out of there. Um, there's also inside the box is just also more storage, but I've mounted a light in there. I've got a Norsk lithium 15 amp hour battery that powers all this. Um, plenty of storage but it's still lightweight. I can lift this up by myself to put stuff in the truck. Um, there's also a outlet plug here for phones or GoPros or whatever else you want to charge. Um, keep everything going. But plenty of storage in here. And then I've also added the skis. I've showed you guys this before, the pop-up skis. And then this knob locks them down in the down position. And it also locks them in the up position for storage. But that's just a few of the mods. And the last one I'll show you is the shelf. Um, pretty sure this was a clam shelf. But I've just added, I've notched it out. And then added one of these on the front and the back. So it doesn't slide up and down. I can just hold my bait and everything in there. Um, I've put knobs on this pole and the bottom pole because I always bump them when I go out. I don't ever have a problem bumping the back two, but the front two I was always kicking with my foot or bumping. So now they're just a pull, a pull knob to uh, lower them down. But yeah, that's just a few of the mods I've done, guys. I've got an internal frame that I've built in this just to make it structurally sound with the the table hinges and to make it better. And then I put a tow bar on the front. So I've also got a mount on the front. So it's pulling the whole sled, not just pieces of the sled. But I've got the skis on everything. I've got runners, the Hyfax runners underneath. But that'll be it for now. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching.